channel. So today's video is going to be on how to create this design using stamping plates, black gel polish in particular, the one I use is Black Betty from Magpie Gel Colours, and using the Magpie Glitters Lulu, Jessica and Ariel. You can create some really cool designs using reverse method stamping and filling the outer area with gel colour. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And yeah, just keep watching if you want to see how it's done. So we're going to begin by applying one layer of Magpie Gel Colour Black Betty to all three layers. I'm going to show you how to do three different designs with three different colour glitters. So I'm just going to apply it to all three nails and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I've got my first layer of Magpie Gel Colour Black Messy, and as you can see, it is near enough full coverage in one coat. So I'm now going to put this into the lamp for 30 seconds. You would normally put Magpie Gel Colours in for one minute, but we're going to put it in for 30 seconds because we want it to stay a little bit more tacky. Okay, so back out the lamp now. So that's been in for 30 seconds. The three glitters I've chosen are Magpie Glitter. Jessica, which is from the new Autumn collection, is an absolutely gorgeous copper holographic. So I'm going in with Jessica. Also going to go in with Magpie Glitter Ariel, which is a turquoisey aqua holographic. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with Magpie Glitter Lulu, which is again a stunning hot pink holographic. So I'm just going to apply these to all three of the nails. I'm going to start with Jessica. I'm using my Magpie Beauty applicator brush. Sorry, it's a bit wrecked. You can tell it's well loved. Okay, it's going in on my first one. And just dabbing that glitter all over the nail. And then with these holographic glitters, I really like to just dab them on to the base colour and then just slightly rub down. I just find that that really covers the colour underneath and it just brings out that holographicness and helps them lay a little bit more flat. Pat that on all over and then gently brush down. You're not rubbing hard, it's just a light pressure. We're not burnishing them on, we're just lightly rubbing just to reveal that nice glitzy holographic. So there's the three colours. And now I'm going to put that back into the lamp for another 30 seconds to finish off that cure. And that will really help the glitters hold in to the gel. Okay, so they have been in the lamp for another 30 seconds. I'm now going to take my Magpie Duster Brush. Again, really well loved. Probably need a new one. Really lightly. You don't need any crazy pressure. And making sure when you're doing these on real nails, going on that free edge and around the cuticle area, making sure you've got it all out because that will prevent any chipping and lifting. Okay, so there we have the three glitters and oh my goodness, aren't they just absolutely stunning. Magpie Glitter Ariel in the middle. You've got Magpie Glitter Lulu on the end 
And then you've got the new magpie glitter, Jessica, on the left. Now we're gonna go in with Magpie Beauty Let It Shine top coat. I'm gonna go in with one layer on each nail and just float it across the nail. Okay, so I've applied the top coat on all three nails and that's going to go into the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's been in for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. I'm now going to just cleanse the nails, removing that inhibition layer. And we're now going to go in with stamping. So I'm going to start with this design here. And I've posted a set of nails where I used this stamping plate, particularly this image. This stamping plate is from Rowley London and it's the Flower Power Collection and it's number four. And we used this image here and I used this centre flower here and did it with loads of different coloured glitters and it looked absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to use this image here and I'm going to do it on top of the aqua. So we're going to start with that one. I'm going to go in with my Hit The Bottle stamping polish in As Black As Night and it is just a black stamping polish. I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Clear Stamper so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll be using my Mo You London scraper. First make sure you've cleaned and prepped your plate with some acetone. And because this image is a reverse, so it covers most of the glitter, you're going to need to apply slightly more sandwich polish than you would normally. And just scrape it over that image. Pick up that image on your stamper. And then go in the design, place it on and just give it a roll. There's your image. Make sure you've got your edges down. You don't need to worry about the fact that this is not reached the edge because this will all be black. Anyway, so that's what that looks like so far. So now we're going to go back in with our Magpie Gel Colour in Black Betty. And firstly, we're just going to take your nail and get the polish and just paint around the edges of where that image is and because Black Betty is so highly pigmented it works so well. Now I'm just going to go around the top half and then I'm just going to go around the edges here. Right and once you've done that you can pop it into your lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is back out the lamp now and we're going to go in with Magpie's Let It Shine Top Coat. I'm gonna go in with two layers of this, sealing it in, because you want to seal in that stamping that you have also done. and I'll be putting that back into the lamp for another 60 seconds. Okay, so I've applied my second coat of top coat, let it shine, and gone back into the lamp for another 60 seconds, and then it's all done. So as you can see, you've just got that pop of glitter in the center of the nail, and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to do the other two designs, and I'm just gonna let you watch, because it's the same process, but we're just doing some different designs. 
Okay, so I'm going to be using my Dixie Plate DP10. And we're going to be using this image here of the gorgeous little butterflies. Okay, so now going in with the pink loopy loo glitter, I'm going to be using Dixie Plates DP11 and I'm going to be using this absolutely stunning feather image. This So that's them all done. And look how stunning it looks. It just makes the design pop. And you can do it with any glitter, any you want. For the biggest amount of contrast, I suggest using something slightly brighter, a brighter glitter, or something with the holographic. I just think it looks really pretty with a bit of sparkle. Thank you so much for watching. It was so fun to create this video. I've got a few more tutorials of advanced stamping coming up so make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you on my next one thank you bye